Okay, we'll call this the postlude. So I just finished up uh, about three and a half miles. That's funny, when I heard it say, uh, the time between it said two miles completed and three miles completed, it seemed very short. So, who knows? Uh, unfortunately, the garden event was canceled. It is now snowing uh, consistently. So the flakes first started out as little, you know, almost like a little sleet. Not really sleet. They were just fine snowflakes. Now they are growing in size. So, and the trail did start to gather some snow and I stepped in too much mud than I intended on the way back. So I will probably give my shoes a good dousing. Now, in the recent past, we had such a, a warm October, relatively, so that when I washed my shoes, and set them out to dry. They did not dry. It just was too cool. But now we have the wood uh, wood wood stove going, so that provides heat and the opportunity for things to dry out better. I have some hunters in their orange garb. Now, one of the things that I've... So I've been um, taking my running a bit slowly these days and not real frequently. Um, just have too much tightness in my feet. And it's, I think, what I experienced in May and July is uh, like a tendonitis. I think is more what I, I have been experiencing. And it runs along the top of the foot so that your, you know, where your foot bends naturally in a step, uh, that part really was sore at first. It's much better, uh, but uh, it's not gone. So during a run, it feels fine. So once things are loosened up. So first thing in the morning, my feet are a bit stiff. So you get them awake and moving. So, yeah, I, I saw a massage therapist who is a sports, sports massage therapist. Uh, there was a, I may have mentioned this before, if I posted that there was an introductory new place opening up um, $15 for 30 minutes this is great for a massage um, I think she normally charges $75 for an hour which again that's not unheard of um, and then I get a 10% discount because uh, the offer was made to my wife's school district so, trying to set something up, and while I was there, we talked about the, the knots in my legs and the adhesions and the muscles that are, seem to be all stuck together, which I think is a good portion of my problem. <clears throat> Problems over the years, but I've thought other things in the past too. Uh, so, I will not torture that dog and turn around and head back. Um, so, I would like to schedule something with her soon. My wife had scheduled a reflexologist in the same shop and has already seen her, has rescheduled a second, but not until January. So, 
uh, the girl here that I'm looking to see, her name is Stacy, and she said the first time she would like to see a person for an hour just so she can get the full body, just see what's going on here. She has some sense as to what's going on in me. <clears throat> And then uh, she talks about, for runners, especially working on the hips and lower back. So I think she's identified things pretty well. So just walking back down Stover Mill Road to my car. And then we'll head on home. So... Good morning. Who's going to put the star on top? Pardon? Who's going to put the star on the top? Uh, definitely not me. Not you, okay. <laughs> you up that top? Not me either. I see somebody's made their nest up there, so. Yeah, there are a few they, they probably left for the season, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I'm looking down the road here toward my car, and there's a certain crossover point where it definitely looks white on the ground by my car. Whereas if I look backwards and where I am now, it's just wet with patches. Let's say if there's dirt <clears throat> on the road, mud, there is snow gathering on that, but on the, on the uh, asphalt, it is still melting. So maybe there's more dirt down where I'm parked. Um, yeah, it definitely looks different though. Lower in elevation, so maybe it's a little cooler. The cool air sinks. So it could be a little chillier right there. I guess I did go further than before because I'm passing that no, horse, no horseback riding sign. And that's okay. Get a nice cool down. <clears throat> well, since it has been such a long time, I hope you all had a... Well, I hope you had a nice summer. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's been that long, but... Uh, and a nice fall. Here we are in winter. And um, I'm glad I'm feeling more up to doing things than I had been. And I hope to continue because... Uh, it's easy to be lazy when you, when you get out of a routine... So, I'm not sure if everybody else's routine is morning running or evening running. I think mostly it's morning running. Um, I have a lot of traffic right in front of my house, so it's, I usually go somewhere else. I'll get in the car and drive to a park, <coughs> close by park, or just park in town somewhere and then run the, the back streets. But my, my road is very narrow, and there's lots of traffic on a, on any given day. Now, tomorrow, well, tomorrow's Sunday, and we'll probably want to get to church a little early, just because things will be, um, we want things to be ready after some snow. So, I'm not sure what time we're ending tonight, maybe 10 p.m. or 1 a.m., I think the original advisory was 1 a.m. Saturday morning to 1 a.m. Sunday morning, but we didn't start getting snow till, well, since I've been out here, uh, nine after 9 o'clock probably, to, to really get something going. All right, well, here's, I'm at the demarcation point. Uh, maybe it's just a different kind of asphalt because there is a seam in the road, you know, where they've put tar down to seal it. And on this side, it's whiter. So, hmm, might be a different composition on the other side. And definitely we'll be getting slippery here soon. So, anyway, from my Saturday to yours, hope you all have a great time out. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.